Come on, 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 come on,
You know, <laughs> we get money now, y'all. We, we get whatever. So it's Christmas time, right? So everybody then turned yeah. up. Like Fred Lana gave us like a week and a half off from work, and we still got paid. Okay. You know, everybody buy them nice ass gifts because everybody get money. You know, and when we got back to work that Monday, it was soon as at clocking. It was at every clocking was a sign meeting in the showroom. Or something like that. Meeting in the showroom. Everybody had to go there. And that's when they told us that it was laying off. And Friday was our last. <laughs> they told y'all that after Christmas. They told us that after Christmas. People people were like in there crying. Because people done bought done these gifts. They done spent this money. They ain't got really no, you know. Saying it and then depending on the time you came in, what if you got hired in October and you used to that money. Then you get, you only been making that money for about a good You probably been paying the lifestyle a bit. And then you're thinking, dang, you know, that's crazy that you get laid off. And some people done adjusted their lifestyles. To and there's big stuff. So people, people was upset. People was crying. And it was a fact, like, you're going to tell us we got four more days to work? That's wild. Like, yeah. you ain't getting no notice or nothing. Look, people got to make preparation. You just you can't just tell people, like, right then they ain't got no job. That's crazy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, at that point, how long you had your car? Um, I had about... A year and some change. Did you have a car before that? I had cars before that. No, no, I'm saying like at that time. Before you got that new car. Yeah. So you already had one. Mm hmm You just like, I'm going to get another. I'm going to get a, yeah, I'm going to get one that's official. Like to me, those other cars weren't all official because they was given to me. And there was always something wrong with them. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to get one off the lot while I know it shouldn't be nothing wrong with this car. It's a fit, and you know, and I'm going. To, I'm stopping hood mechanics. I'm not doing no more hood. Yeah, that's shit. You gotta nip that. I'm in going my head. back to where I got warranty and shit at. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's it. You gotta have insurance to touch my car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that's what I consider that my real official car. Like it would affect my credit. I had to get somebody to sign for me to get this car because I had no credit. That's the shit your mama be talking shit yeah. about. Oh! Come yeah, on, then. Come this on. Is the All right. I'm just talking about. <laughs> All right, go ahead, so, yeah, then. She go had my mother, you know, when I got the car, she went and signed for me because I had no credit at all. Nothing. I, I, I'm thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. I pay light bills. I pay my rent. Like, none of that count. He's so, like, no. So you done got laid off and your car is co signed by somebody else. Yes. Man. It's and mind. it's right after Christmas. It's right after you Christmas. You know, we're crazy. I don't see. <laughs> but everybody, everybody ate. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> uh, everybody, for real, everybody. I make sure everybody felt it okay. that Christmas. So I was like, oh my god, like this is cool. Raise what am I? What am I? I mean, I wasn't, but it was crazy. It's like, damn, I'm gonna miss the bread. But I wasn't really upset because I got my CNAs. I can always go back to the nursing home. So I yeah. wasn't tripping. I had left the nursing home to go to Freelander to get money up real quick. And I had money in my savings. Like, I was, I, you know, I wasn't tripping. So, yeah. how did this get bad to your car getting repoed? Because it sounds like even if you <clears throat> didn't have money saved, you had the CNAs. And I know how the traveling shit works. So, you could just get right to some more money. You would think. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Not like that. Okay. It wasn't. So... Because they laid us off unlawfully, and you know, there's, there's a law. You just can't go and tell folks when you land them off when it's your fault. Mm -hmm. You can't just go and tell them that. <laughs> and that you got to give them a decent amount of time. I forgot, but you got to give them amount of time of layoff. Right. Um. So they put us in this TRA program where they had to pay for us to go to school and it had to be an associate's degree. So they had to pay for the. So what they would what, what it was was for so the, because so, they unlawfully laid y'all off, they had to pay for y'all to go to school. Yes. Oh, so okay. I'm just keeping you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what it was? So the program. So this is what happened. So the first. So after that Friday, the last day, the next three months, we got paid still, but a regular forty-hour pay week. A okay. Week. We got we got paid that. So we, the, that continued. Any type of dealings you had, so continue. Mind you, I had car insurance through MetLife, which was partnered yeah. through them. Okay. So everything still continued. So I'm like, all right, I'm not, you know, missing no money, but let me get some affairs in order. It was some shit I had to fix around the house. Like my AC unit went out 
and uh, the floors. After we do the floors, and I cost some, <laughs> it cost some bread for yeah, me yeah, at the yeah, time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so all right, but um, the, the three months went by. After that, the TRA program kicked in, where they paid for us to go to school, and we got unemployment, which was five hundred a week. Okay. Um, that's two thousand a month. Mm-hmm. Cause, cause, I, cause, at this point, I'm wondering what you was on drugs or something. Like, <laughs> no, what, where the money wasn't. go? For your car to get repoed, bro. But like I told you, I didn't. Cause I it sounded like they did y'all well. Okay. Okay, so, come on in. Come on in. So, um, like I said, the unemployment was the first three months um, after we got laid off. We continue. Like I said, I had, I didn't have good money habits, but I did have enough money to fix whatever I needed to fix. Right. But I didn't have the best spending habits. Okay. So, anyway, it gets down to now it's time to convert to the um, TAA program, which is continue on unemployment and the schooling, because now it's time for school to kick in. However, I did not claim my last month's, my last week's worth of money from unemployment, so it left a balance, Right. What you mean? I left, I left a five hundred dollar balance that is old to me because you got to report okay. every week. Why you didn't report? I I I don't know. I just I just didn't. I, I was late on it. I was late on it, so I didn't get that last week. And so I'm like, I I ain't tripping about the five hundred. That's just money that I miss, mm-hmm. right? That's fine. Somebody started the program. I done not pick my. I, I done not got my uh stuff for the school, and like I'm already enrolled and stuff, and I'm going. I'm already in school. But the conditions of the program is you cannot work. Everything is based off your last employer, which has to be Freightliner for things to continue. You can't work. If you work, you start over and your new employer has to decide if they continue, they're going to continue on paying for your stuff. So you cannot, you can't do that. So, and your balance has to be at zero for you to get into this program. I have a balance of 500 that's owed to me from... Because you was late. Because I was late claiming it. And there's no way to cancel out that balance. Which means I can't get the money every week. No more. I can my schooling is paid for. But I can't get the money every week anymore. I had to go through a series of appeals to write to Riley to say, hey, like I don't even care about that five hundred that is owed to me. If it click in, y'all just wipe out the five so I can continue on with the program because now we're getting into months we're getting into months of me not paying no rent and I'm not working. Yeah. So we're dipping into my savings and then shit is fucking up around the house. This is when you had the trailer out there by your mom and them and yeah. it was like the own it. Rent yeah, to rent thing. to own. Okay. And it will pass. I've been in there now a couple of years now. So, you know, he had a condition where the first year you're in there, whatever he fucks up, he fixes it. After that first year, you got to fix whatever fuck up. So the first year, the AC unit kept going out and he kept fixing it. But really, he was He's nigga rigging it. Yeah, 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 because it's like, why does my AC unit keep going out, sir? TikTok, I'm sorry. <laughs> So, it, so that's what was happening because like year two, shit started going crazy. The AC unit, it was, we saw the real problem. He just kept patching it with Freon. He just kept putting more Freon in the unit. It, it had a leak. Yeah. It had a leak. And the fix that unit was $5,000. To, to, to get a new one was going to so be even if you, money. The money you had was really out of there. Yeah. The money I would have had. A, so you, so the money, so you did, so you missed the last week. Of claiming unemployment. So they showed that they owed you the money. Mm-hmm. And if they owed you the money, they wasn't going to give it to you. Mm-mm. Because. That's money. Why money. though? Like, why? I don't know. That's just part of the program. And that's- then and then if they owe you some money, they not paying you the unemployment while you're in school? No. What the fuck kind of loophole was it, this? I know. And that's what the woman, she sat, she, when, when I sat down, because I ended up crying in front of my worker about this. Oh, you I said, what do I, no, we're trying to finesse, but it was like, what do I do? And she was like, I'm sorry, but unfortunately you're just in a gray area. What, what a area that we don't know what to do? About. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's sometimes people fall, if there's this gray area because of how two policies may not correspond. One policy is saying, I got a balance. This is the final balance and it does not get cleared out. And this policy is saying, well, it's got to be zero. So 
There's no, it's a parallel. There's no cross. But it ain't nobody that can like step in and say, I'm the boss. I'm the leader. I run the program. Uh, Let's handle her shit. Well, see, yeah, I had a caseworker and that person's like, she couldn't do anything. I had to write my appeals to Raleigh. The city? The, the capital. To, I had to write a letter explaining everything in the situation or what's going on or what happened or how, you know, just everything. A letter, bro? I had to write appeal and my appeals kept getting denied. My appeals got denied three times. They wrote now, you back? Yeah, and they would, and they would deny. They like, got them. They get, I mean, yeah. they got the letter, y'all. <laughs> yeah, they like, like they got up. They would get an issue, and, and I have to keep going higher and higher. And I'm like, but in the midst of doing this, I'm still not working. So bills. Is Why are you not working? If I if I work, start you can't work, go to school. I can't go to school either. Oh my god! My scholarship is now taken because now because then it would have to be the new employee would have to decide if there's any like can I continue to be unemployed with them. But what job, like, what job is going to do that? I would have started selling stuff. So, that's the, so now, now we're like at seven months, eight months, nine months behind in rent. Um, I have months? to go, now we're like six, seven, eight. I think I got like up to nine months behind in rent. How long did this go on? This went on for, this went on for like a year. Why didn't you just say, fuck the school shit and then just like. Because it was like, who want to turn up free school? And like that but your life is true. falling apart and you I need know. money. That is true. That is true. Listen, I did end up saying fuck it. During the ninth, during the ninth month, I like you can tell my grades was like going down. My grades was horrible. Because it was like I, I ended up just going to start working. I said, fuck it, I'm gonna just sneak off and just start working. I went to the nursing home. They found out. Of course. So um, I explained to my employer, it seemed like, oh, look, it seemed like all they want you to say there is no work here for me, so then it's grounds for me to get unemployment, so then I can continue on the program. But that's the problem. There was work for me there. And he won't about to lie and say, we can't work her because there was work there. So I'm deemed employable. So my scholarship, like, it got to, it got to, everything got to, everything got to. So not only did you put yourself in the hole for the scholarship, it got to. It got so to. how did you so with the car, they waited nine months? You know, about five hundred dollars behind and I would go get assistance. Like I went to social services, they had assistance program. Um, I had family who helped me out. They gave me money, um, to kinda at least get me back kinda stable, at least kinda all right, you know. Um, so my landlord, who his grace, his grace on letting me go like sometimes six, seven months. He did. Eight months That's without a long time. paying rent. And the reason why is because him and my step pops, they were really cool. He had already bought a trailer from him already. So they was. I cool. ain't gonna lie, y'all. If she ain't, she gonna have to be on that Jada Smith act <laughs> and motherfucking uh, set it on. Not nice. Hey, if you want a rent, if you want some free rent, you know why I'm, <laughs> where I'ma be. Whatever. Hell no. Nah. How old was he? He yeah, was old. Oh yeah, yeah. I would have been on your little tender ass. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care no more, my old nigga. Hey, he you like want some free his, rent or no? He was like in his 60s, 70s. He was an able old man. He owned the whole trailer park. Yeah, he, he owned Yeah, he rich as hell. Yeah, he had a big house at the end of the trailer park. Paid off, really. But yeah, so Motherfucker. he did him and him and my boss was cool. You know, he, he that, that trailer is paid for that he got, so he really just He wasn't really missing no money. Mm-mm. Cause he had bread. And then my my boss, he had owned the trailer beside him. Then he bought my mama. So he's like, oh he <laughs> Okay, he it's a relationship money. here. Yeah. So he was like, you know, he was like, hey look, my daughter going through a to a time when I was there now, he he was on me at times now. When it get back to that fifth month, like, hey, hey, like, what's going on? He would go to my parents, yeah. and now that's what me and he would bump heads at. Cause I'm like, look, I know you cool my parents, but I am renting this trailer out from you. Stop going to my parents telling on me, bro. Like, I, like, oh, 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 <laughs> now, nah. but he's giving you grace because of your I parents. I appreciate it. He's just letting your parents know. Look, I appreciate it, but it just it caused friction with with. It, it but how you gonna tell time. this man not to go to your parents when he giving you grace because of your parents?
parents. Thank you for the grace. But come to me, like come to Typical. me. Typical. That's crazy. I just wanted him to come to me and say something like, "You every time I, I'm talking to you, I'm expressing to you, like I'm telling you what's going on." You know that when I get there, that it was something. And he it just like letting that the people that he giving the favor to look, man, this favor running out. I, okay, I, okay. I'm and I pushing a girl that. out on the street. <laughs> I understand it, but it was just, it was just frustrating. It was just a tough time. It was a tough time, like, trying to, when I'm telling you that was the month I have to make some shit shake that whole year, like, as far as going through different programs, trying to get stuff, like, it was just a tough time. And it was just me, like, partially probably lashing out, because it was just like, damn, nigga, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm telling you what's going on. My parents are telling you what's going on. But anyway, so I get behind and car payment because okay. for real even though i would get behind in rent i would kind of be i'll get behind a car payment but i'm going to catch the car payment up before the rent up that's how i looked at it i got to get somewhere to make money like we we just going to be whatever whatever with this rent <laughs> but, <laughs> but i'm paying my car note <laughs> but it wasn't number two something and if you was working full time you was getting at least yeah 15 now 15 from the cna why well, you not couldn't back pay then, your damn rent? Thing, like at that time, I was making like eight dollars and some change an hour. Oh, that was a minute ago. Yeah, back then I was making like eight twenty five an hour. So you definitely weren't pulling no fifteen. I was, and then mind you, I was still in school. I'm this is a you got to be in school full time too in order for you to get in the program. Yeah, you was in a bind for real. Yeah, so it was like it was. I was working third shift to you know working third shift and then go to school in the daytime. Okay. Oh whatever, but I got caught working. Took the stuff away. So now we so now like I'm probably like five hundred behind in car payment. Two payments. Yeah. Two payments behind. So I'm like bad. They coming to get it on the third one. No, they was coming to get it on the second they was calling. They was they was calling the it was they was calling. They was like I'm like, look, I'm trying like they let me defer sometime. That's how I know you can push payments to the back end. Like I did that. It was times where I could get the money. I could I'll get some up, I'll get whatever I could. But it was like, I right, it's about to be tax time. I'm not even worried. I'm two months behind, but I get taxes next month. So I'ma just pay it, pay, pay it, it up. Yeah. pay it, pay it. But they but they were looking for me though. Like one time getting off work third shift, I you know you can see kinda the driveway from far back. And I saw the tow truck in my driveway. I called my mom like, Ma, I need you to meet me up here. Because I'm not driving down there. <laughs> the tow truck is in my driveway. It's 730 in the morning. I'm ready to lay down. I've been working at night. And he's ass ready to take my car. Like, it was it was not it. My mom met me or whatever. Parked there at her friend's house. We go back to the house. We ride by to see he's still there. Like he's still there. Or whatever, I go in the house, I wait about an hour or two, come back out, he gone, or whatever. But I said, like, Ma, now we gotta get to your friends to make sure. I don't know if they tracking it, I don't know. Because yeah. we got it in her friend's garage, so it was like, the door closed, so even if so, you can't get it. You can't get it. But. So y'all out here still in the car at this point? At this point, I'm still in the car. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, ooh, I can just make it. Like, I, I filed taxes the first day. What if it's, what is it? Whatever. Yeah, 28. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Whatever day it was. And the 15th is a turn off day, I think. Okay. Yeah. Whatever day it was. Yeah, that's what I, immediately. Cause I'm like, I got to hurry up. They looking for it. So, boom. This is going to be, this is the irresponsible me. Okay, irresponsible okay. of me. Basically, don't judge me. Because it's going to sound stupid. <laughs> the money hit, right? The tax money. The tax money hit. Oh, we up. We good. We good. Yeah. We good. I'm like, all right, mom. You don't own but 500? Yeah. Yeah, we good. And I got like five Gs that year. Okay. Well, you real good. <laughs> you could have really paid up and been cool. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. So I'm like, all right. Yes. Yeah. This is what happened. The money hit, right? I'm like, all right, mom, boom. It's this weekend. No, it's Saturday. The money hit. We're going to get up. I got a show. I got a show. It's not Saturday because the show was Saturday. So it was Friday. The money hit Friday. I got a show Saturday. Like, all right, let's get up. We're going to go get everything together for the show. I'm going to pay off everything, whatever. As we we'll go to the mall, we we'll go get the show outfit. I go to the hair store to go get my hair for the show. And like, all right, when I get home, I'm going to pay the car. Nope. 
The kids was getting on my nerves in the hair store, so I sent them outside to the car. So go get in the car, I'm about to go out. We have to leave. They go out to the car. They come back, the car right there. I said, like, What are you talking about? Like, stop playing, I go to the car. They like, no, for real, the car is not there. Oh, funny, okay. So I go out there. I go out there and my car is really gone, right? There's a guy out there, he was like, What you looking for? I said, he's like, I'm like <laughs> He know what you looking for. Yeah. Yeah. I said, car? Yeah, just a few moments ago, a tow truck came up real quick, backed on up, hooked it up, took it on right out of here. It was less than five minutes. They did it. I was like, oh my God, we are stranded in Greensboro. How far is that from Salisbury? Like 45 minutes from Salisbury. Oh, what no, you got kids with you? We got the kids with us. We? Me, my mama. No, not the one that co signed. <laughs> You with the nigga that co-signed for you yes. in the car repo? Yes. He's so mad with you, man. Listen. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to listen. You better manipulate me. No, Ain't no not. way, really. I'm going to take bro. accountability because my order should have been reversed. Like, when that money hit, I should have just called them and said, pay this. Yeah. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it tonight. I just, I'm going to get up. Black people, <laughs> big. I got up, Black got people. my, you know, it was stupid, but I got up, got my life together, got the kids ready, my hair, y'all get ready, we're going out, we're going, like, you know, I got to get That money done hit, let's ball. That's what it was, we balling, we up. Now. And then when I get home, I'm going to take care of everything so I can hit the road fresh, because I don't want to get my car repoed. We was not out. up. No, we was not up. It was not. I could not believe my car was gone. Was, was you gone. able to get the car? Because you still had five bags. Yeah, I did get my car back. I called I called Lisa, first of all, my best friend. I called her to come pick us up. She stayed in Greens. So okay. she came and picked us up. We hopped in her car. I went home. But mind you, everything was in the car. Like, everything was in the car. Everything from we bought at the mall, my mama purse, everything was in the car. So, I called, I got home, and I called and made the payment, just paid it up, and they told me where it was at, and I went and got the car. So, why your mom be talking shit about it? You got the car back. Does that still count on your record? So, yeah, you get the car back, right? Yes. When you get the car back, like, was your mama still mad about that? <clears throat> because if it didn't affect anything, I mean, it, why was it she... Show, it, it, no, it still show as a repo. But you got the car back. It still shows a repo. It, just because you got the car back don't mean it don't show as a repo. They still have to report that as a repo. Damn, that shit lasts how long? Like it, like uh, seven years. I know because it's gone on now. <laughs> that's how I know. It's like Bro, seven, that's a long time. Five years. It's something like that. Um, But yeah. It's a long time. But it's going off hers too, so she, she, we good now. She's just always talking about it just because... I don't know. Oh, I thought that shit was still affecting her life or something. It's not. It's gone. Oh, man. It's, it's, and I told her it's you been gone. Huh? Huh? If we want to cut you out of my life, bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> David, ready to go somebody. I tell you, you out of here fucking with David. <laughs> Be ready. But yeah, that is my... Repo story. That is so funny using the hairstyle. I just wish you would have paid the note. I know. I, I know. know the you... irresponsible me, I should have just woke up that morning like I, I got the bread. Let me call these folks and just square them away. Yeah. But I didn't do that. And then you had to pay to get it out the place too, huh? Yes. I'm not. At least I two. Don't I don't remember. I don't remember. I remember I remember just going up there and getting it. I didn't get it like immediately. immediately. I got it like a, like a week later. I got it like a week later. So Went they, up there. Since you work at the car lot, right? When y'all send people to repo people cars, do y'all pay the company? Well, like it don't, it don't work like that. High work. <clears throat> what she's talking about, uh, the finance was happening there. Like they were paying the money out of their pool. We don't do that. We're a franchise company. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. What we do is the financing through any of the okay. lenders. Yeah. And then it's the lenders after that. It's Keesler, it's whoever. Yeah. Mm. Um They'll have to send somebody. That's about a three-day window where if you just decide you don't want the car, you can bring it back. But after that, you know, yeah. the bank owns it. We don't have any part of it. Okay. Yep, I do remember being told that. I do remember being told that. Okay. But yeah. yeah that's pretty fun. 
<laughs> you did a lot of your Just shit. Just anyway. I mean, was, did you hear? Like that's that. Like, was, look I at still that. don't know where the money went. I told you where the money went. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shit happening around the house. No, no, no. I don't understand why you ain't start working earlier. Because I was just trying to buy by the rules. I was trying to buy by not getting caught. Like, look, I worked for a month and they caught me. So I was <laughs> trying to about like do the right thing. That's I know this is going to sound bad. This is going to sound bad. But because of how certain situations like that turned out was why how I started scheming like certain parts of the system. Because like I did everything I wanted me to do. No. I did it. And y'all why she look at me like I'm the like I'm the system. No, because he be ready to say that I was on the hop tables. Bro, and stuff. it is. So he be ready to say that it that, that comes from a long line of disobedience. <laughs> but that's not the case. That's just like, dang, I did everything. I didn't work. In a in the mix of me not working, I don't care that I'm trying to feed a kid over here. I got bills over here. See, that's I'm trying problem. to do the right thing. Like, what, okay, what you want? I'm gonna write another letter. Okay, y'all don't like that one, right? Do another one. I'm still going to these meetings. You said I can't work. Still I'm going through all of these like as programs. The predicament of how you get in that situation is crazy to me. Yeah. Like that, that they owed you money, so they wouldn't let you get money. Like that, that just yeah. That's 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 a that's some bullshit. And that, and when she told me, she's like, "I'm just so sorry. Unfortunately, it's some people like you that fall in this gray area." That told me, look, it's out my hands, girl. Like basically, just just cut it, just quit. Yeah. It's over for you. It, unfortunately, she you fall in this crack. She would have been better off just saying, "He might as well just hang this up." It's over. It's over. Or do a job that you can get paid under the table. But where I'm gonna get paid under the table at? Mr. At the time I ain't know. I guess. You see what I'm saying? Or you could have been Jada. Hell no, I ain't gonna know Nate. Nate. I don't want Nate safe late. And none then of her dumb ass ripped the check up after. I don't care if my brother's going to college or not. I'm cashing that check. I done had to lay up <laughs> this sweaty ass old nigga. You got me yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I need like, my brain. She tweaking, bro. She, I need my bread. She was. Okay. She was. But that, yeah. Well, that's a pretty funny story. Okay. The lack of man. But that concludes my story time, y'all. I hope that helps some of y'all not be irresponsible <laughs> like I was back then. Yeah. Manage your money because you never know. You never know. You never know when the brand is coming. All right. Back to the story, y'all. If y'all have not already hit that like and subscribe, do that for me. Follow me on all social media platforms and a hey, follow baby. Chat to everywhere. And I tell we are.